405 degree turn all the way around. So all the way around the circle, straight back out on the 45 degree line. Yes, yes. Yeah. Coming back. So Hawker Hunter Mark 58, ladies and gentlemen. Up now, up to about 410 miles per hour, climbing up, using that energy, straight to what we call a half Cuban, think about a Cuban 8 figure, and using the height that we've got available here today, and I want to thank Paul with their traffic control for organising this, so really winding it up now. He's done a one and a half hour on roll to bring it back on the 45 degree line straight towards over Highcliffe Castle. Going back. Going to be loud. Winding it right down. Jonathan can come right down to 200 feet, ladies and gentlemen, today. Notice the streaming of the water data off the wingtips of this aircraft. That just shows you how much G he's pulling at the moment. That's what's known as a jerry turn. Straight back towards you. Jonathan will pull up to about 8 G during this display. 8 times his own weight. Channel. 
Well, it was these aircraft armed with their Matra rocket pods that actually destroyed the Torrey Canyon and sank her to uh, avoid any more pollution. So just in case you're wondering how much fuel he's burning at the moment in this Rolls-Royce Avon engine, he's doing between 60 and 80 litres a minute. So during this display he's burning between 600 and 800 litres of aviation fuel. But it took him 38 minutes to get from you, Carl. He's using a lot of energy, a lot of kinetic energy. If you think about yourself on a roller coaster, you know, each of your cars reach your maximum kinetic energy when you're at the bottom of your roller coaster path and when you start rising, the kinetic energy is converted into gravitational energy and that is what Jonathan's using to great effect here this afternoon. Lovely impressive path. Jonathan started his flying career in the Royal Navy in 1965 at the age of 17. When he gained his wings, he moved on to uh, Hawker Hunters, the aircraft he's flying now. But his eventual operational aircraft was the Sea Vixen, and that's very interesting because here at Forman we've got the last flying Sea Vixen in service based upon the airfield. He's also flown the Phantom in operational service. A lovely head-on shot there. tell how much G is pulling just by the fact that he's sucking the air out of the, uh, the water vapour out of the atmosphere and pushing it onto the wingtips, pressing him down into the cockpit as he goes around the corner. Jonathan left the Royal Navy in the 1970s, but that was not the end of his flying by any means. He got a taste for aerobatics, and during that time, he managed to get involved with film work. His credits include Fugs, Ball to Ride, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, amongst others. He's also made numerous appearances on Discovery Wings Channel. I'm sure those who are aviation enthusiasts here with us today will notice this aeroplane. You'll notice that Jonathan is slowing this aeroplane right down. He's got a big uh, air down under the fuselage, an air brake. So he's beginning to slow the aeroplane right down, oh, all the way back to uh, 220 miles an hour. But by doing 220 miles an hour, ladies and gentlemen, it means he can open the cockpit. So he does that so that he can have a good look at you, and you can have a good look at him. And you'll also notice that today he's carrying two auxiliary fuel tanks. 
Those two fuel tanks are carrying 870 litres of aviation fuel, and that's what he's been using all the way down from Newcastle. As soon as he's finished here, he will most definitely have to dive into Bournemouth to uh, have a drink and uh, probably go and get a, uh, a bun in the, uh, in the terminal building, I would think. Okay, another fast pass from Jonathan. Really winding this up now. Is it one of the fast, fastest passes he's likely to do, approaching 600 miles an hour? Now that is absolutely fantastic, but we don't always get that. That is what's known as the blue note. That is uh, produced by the uh, the air going into the open gun ports in the front of the aeroplane. And that was an incredible blue note there off Jonathan. Uh, was it actually faster than 600? I think that was approaching 650 miles an hour, ladies and gentlemen. Quite incredible. It's been quite a time to, to bleed that speed off. And we might get one more pass out of him. Yeah, he's turning back towards us. But I think he's already done an incredible job for us this afternoon. Oh, what an incredible day! Not a cloud in the sky. Yeah, I think that probably was the end of the display, the gentleman. He's going to pass over the top on his way in back into Bournemouth. So he might just be able to see you, ladies and gentlemen. Over the top, Jonathan Whaley. Hunter!